After three draws in our European Championship qualifiers so far, where we haven't scored a goal yet, we take on Italy for the first game of today's episode, searching for our first win. Welcome back everyone to our My Player Career Mode. A huge thank you for all of your support. I appreciate you all. Hope I find you all doing very well, having an awesome day and feeling fantastic. You might be able to hear it in my voice, but I am struggling a little bit at the moment with my voice, so I will apologise if the video is affected and the commentary, but we are looking for our first win of today as we take on Italy. Our first win of these European Championship qualifiers. If we lose to them, well, qualification gets that much harder for us. So let's just not lose. Let's win this game. Along with that game against Italy, we are in action for Milan as we take on Sassuolo and Dynamo Zagreb. And if we've got time, we'll play Lazio as well. We've got Milan into Milan on the horizon very, very soon. Next episode, in fact. So very much looking forward to taking them on. 700 likes on this episode would be amazing. Let's get into the first game of the day. Sit back, relax and enjoy, my friends. I've just noticed, actually... Got some skill points, so let me spend those, then we'll get into the first game of the day. We have actually gone up by one overall as well. I put those skill points into ball control and one into skill moves. So yeah, that's grown our pro by one. We are at Wembley for this. There's the England starting 11. We know we are yet to score a goal in these European Championship qualifiers, which is quite a statement indeed. That's got to change. Now, admittedly, I did mess up in the previous game we played for England. That last game of last episode, I went through on goal, had a shot, should have squared it to Harry Kane. So we might have scored there and that would have been our first goal. I will hold my hands up and say I should have squared the ball. But today's a new game and it's chance to redeem ourselves then as Declan Rice and John Stones combine passes. There's a run being made down the left-hand side, but Stones holds onto the ball. Harry Kane dropping deep here to get onto it. We'll find my feet. We look to work it towards his right-hand side. That challenge surely should be the first booking of the game. And it is indeed. Stones, Rice, Alexander-Arnold. Nice. That's brilliantly worked from England. Here's Saka. Now to Kane. To Rashford. Who gets his shot away. And if it wasn't for Donnarumma, England would have scored their first goal. Now, this is a chance to send something into the Italy penalty area to test their set-piece defending. It's not the best of deliveries. Easy enough header away. Tomori will keep it though for England. We'll go one more out here towards Marcus Rashford. He is on side still. That is a brilliant ball back in. Bellingham controls. Try to pass. And the chance goes astray for England who 20 minutes into this have started the better of the two sides as we'll play this ball back in. Harry Kane. Now Rice. Now Saka. Saka sees me. Right hand side. Chance to put the cross in. It's whipped into a dangerous area but I didn't really pick anyone out more so. Just sort of hit it into a space where I was asking someone to go and challenge. And that, unfortunately for us, is an Italy free kick. I thought it might be ours and we could keep the pressure on, but no. And once again, it's the same story for England. We've been the more proactive side, so we can be happier with that. We've been the team on top in terms of dominating the ball, but we haven't used it well enough to create a chance other than the one you saw in the first half, which Donnarumma was easily able to save when Rashford shot. Something's got to give for England as this could be it! Donnarumma out quickly to meet by Kayo Saka and stop him scoring. Oh, man. That could have been England's goal. We are headed to another goalless draw unless something changes. And what we definitely do not want is that goal to be in favour of Italy. We've been found here as Saka is trying to get down the right-hand side. Here he goes. 1v1. He's got Kane straight through the middle. Harry Kane needs to be a bit braver there when he gets that ball as I didn't want it played. It just goes and ends the attack for England more than anything a single minute left I don't know what we've got to do but England is not the play at the moment for us I think next time I just wish that like I could take some time out I could sim the game don't you dare don't you dare say they're about to score Ramsdale to the rescue honestly England it's a sluggish time with them right now four games four nil nil draws and I haven't even got an answer as to how to fix this. Again, you can see my reaction. Just disappointment. Fortunately, goals have not eluded us with Milan. But unfortunately, I don't have any training ahead of Sassuolo, which means I'm having to start on the bench. So we'll join the game. We'll see what the result is at the moment. It's 1-1. Bernardo Silva's opening goal cancelled out by Decore as we have 27 minutes 
to find a winner and keep pressure on Juventus. Sassuolo quite calm on the ball, quite composed, which from their perspective, good to see. From Milan's perspective, not so good. We are an ultra-attacking, so got to be careful we don't give away the ball too easily and allow them a chance as the ball breaks here for us. Right, Bernardo Silva's trying to get away down the right-hand side. Ball will reach him. Barr is trying to join the attack. It's still with Bernardo Silva, though. Finds me. Through for David. Control is good, but Jallo got a vital touch as we come away with the ball again and find Chukweze. We need this to work. Hernandez, Liao, Rafa Liao turning. Back the way of Chukweze again. Can we work the chance? Rafa Liao, Chukweze, Liao again. Just can't find the feet of David. The chance goes to Milan, but it's poor by Sassuolo to give it away. Can we get that ball through to Bernardo Silva? We do! Luden is out to meet him, though. I mean, this is not what you want to see, really, is it? It really is not what you want to see. It's 2-1 Sassuolo. And it's down to the fact that we went on to ultra-attacking, had a chance to go up the other end ourselves, and then were just not set defensively. It is so poor. Alvarez Martinez here. He's found, but even then, he's got work to do. We've got to be so much tighter. We are giving Sassuolo players the freedom of the pitch, it feels like, when they have the ball. We're just not tight enough to them defensively. It's wasted, in all honesty, is what I'd say for Milan. That position, we have to be so much better in utilising the ball there. It is wasted for us. I'll try and work the ball here, get the ball back in. It's Rafa Leo! Oh my goodness! We have just seen a goal of the season contender. And if my voice was better, I would be so much more enthusiastic about this goal. What a goal this is! My voice can't take it. You can hear I've just lost it almost. Oh, what a goal! That, that is spectacular from Rafa Liao. Outstanding! I mean, ultimately though, it is still looking like the point here for Milan, which is not ideal. But given the fact that we were 2-1 down before Liao comes up with a moment of outstanding sheer brilliance, we have to take it, I guess, unless we can nick a winner here late on. Bernardo Silva to Bar. Bar finds me as we're away from the challenge. We'll ride it. Advantage play by the referee. And we'll get out to the right-hand side. Can we work a chance here? We'll find Bernardo Silva. He'll find Chuck Wawese. And Lunen to the rescue for Sassuolo. Milan nearly won it. With just the single minute now, I don't think we've got time. That was the chance to win it. To take the three points. Unfortunately, we will not do that. And depending on the result with Juventus, they may have opened the gap at the top. But the talking point from this game, not only will it be the points dropped by Milan, it will be the absolute worldie that we saw from Rafa Liao, which I feel like deserves another look. So let's have another look at it. And will this be goal of the season? It is certainly a contender from Liao. A special goal from a top, top quality player. The cross is decent from me, but there is still so much to do when the ball reaches him and he does it so well. What an equaliser. And yeah, we'll move on because results was 2-2. Not the result we wanted. And Juventus' victory over Salonitana does mean they move the gap further at the top. Next up. Dynamo Zagreb, we're top of our Europa League group stage. Two wins from two, seven goals scored. Expecting a victory here, so let's get the job done. There's the team. Here is Bernardo as he'll cut inside. Find Benesser. Benesser plays me. Strike from distance. It's saved by the keeper, but the rebound not picked up by anybody in a Milan shirt. Decent shot. First shot on target of the game. Ball goes out wide here. That is... Well kept in, actually. I thought that was uh, a throw in for sure, but no. And how about that? How about that for a ball out wide? Control's better there. That's incredible. Benesser, now Scherz. Everybody in a Milan shirt apart from Mike Minion in the Zagreb half. There's Bernardo. Now Benesser. Benesser into that little gap. It's a nice turn, and we're actually invited all the way through towards the byline. Sotalo comes over, stops the ball going back inside. We'll take the corner. Happy to have that. Let's see if we can score from it. Liao delivers in towards the box. There's Jonathan Davids. And there's the header. Milan in front. As it is a wonderful set piece. And I say wonderful. It is wonderful if you're a Milan fan. On the other side of that, though, 
Dynamo Zagreb will look at that and think that they did not defend it very well at all. I mean, Jonathan David just leaps higher than the Zagreb defender. And there's a number of blue shirts actually not really doing anything in that penalty box there. Corner ball just before half time. Zagreb, can they get one back and hand Milan a taste of their own medicine? Oh, it's a decent effort. Mike Minion was equal to it though. And that will do us for the first half of football in what has been a fairly quiet first half. Milan are in front, but Zagreb having a strong finish to it with their first effort of the game. Scherz put under pressure and lost the ball. And here comes Dynamo Zagreb. The question will be how much more confident will they become if the score stays just 1-0 the later this game goes on? Will they send more players forward to try and find an equaliser? Which could leave them exposed. And Milan's quality on the counter is really good. But Zagreb are feeling pretty confident. And that is why. Because with 22 minutes to go, they have got their equaliser. Milan have just not done enough to see this game out. We've not dominated enough to see it out. It's been honestly... Pretty flat European performance. And I don't know what's going on. But we just don't seem to be able to remain concentrated defensively. We saw it against Sassuolo. And unfortunately, Mike Minion gets the touch but can't keep it out. 20 minutes to go. Got to get yourselves back in front, Milan. And the performances in these games in terms of the England match, then the Sassuolo draw into this one, have been very much like my voice. Rough because we're not playing too well. Can we win it back here? How on earth has Gavardio not got that ball? You're seeing this, right? How? How have Zagreb just taken the lead like that? Oh, wow. Well, celebrations go on here. And the fans inside the ground will be absolutely loving it. But I'm scratching my head as to how on earth we don't come away with the ball there. Look at this for a goal, man. Calamity defensively. And you know what? Sometimes, right? I've said this, I think, in previous episodes. My player. And uh, when you play it, just sometimes the game just feels really strange. Don't know if it's just me and that's the way I'm feeling today. But certainly, yeah, it does feel very strange. The goals we've conceded just don't. Don't know. They just don't feel like we should have conceded them the way we have. But we have. And that's the important factor. Said we needed to get ourselves in front. Well, it's Dynamo Zagreb who have. And it's Dynamo Zagreb who may well end up going on to win this game. That's a foul referee. Come on. How on earth did they win that through the back of me there? Frustration setting in, as you can hear. I've had a really tough couple of episodes recently. And it's not got much better here. As Rukovina's trying to get them away, as that's going to be a foul, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, we're going to lose. There is full time. Do you know what we need? New boots, new haircut. Let's try and change things a little bit. See if that changes how we're playing. At the San Siro to take on Lazio and the home fans will be wanting a response from the previous two fixtures. And not just the home fans want a response. I want a response as well. I'm sure you do. Got to be better, especially with the title that we are fighting with Juventus for. They currently now sit three points clear of us at the top of the Serie A table. And after that defeat in the Europa League, we are no longer top on our own in the Europa League. So, yeah, things got more interesting there as well. But let's focus on Lazio, who are not too far behind us actually in Serie A. So this might be a tricky game. Bernardo down the right-hand side. He's got Barr inside of him. Here is Barr. Tries to pull it across. Can't find that ball as Zakagni will take Lazio forwards. Played against him recently as he was in the Italy team that we played against for England. No pass forward yet, so we'll have to hold on to the ball. Benton Kerr, Gavardio. Got Teo Hernandez out wide, but carries in from centre-back. Liao's back heel into my feet. Away from one challenge. We're going to drive straight in here towards the Lazio penalty area. And a back across for Benton Kerr, who should score. It has to be a goal. We take that touch too often. Just finish it first time into that near post. We are ahead. But no. Chance goes. Stealing back possession there. And now here we go. Jonathan David will carry on our run. He'll find us into the position to be able to finish. Milan in front. And hopefully that is the first of more goals that we've got coming your way today in this particular fixture. Get in. I feel like that is a huge weight as well. 
haven't been playing well recently. So to bag the first goal of the game across the goalkeeper is exactly what we wanted to do. New haircut, new boots. Hopefully this turns around our form. Have ourselves a corner here to try and double our lead. Let's see if we can make something of this. It's into the middle. Away by Edison. Will be picked up though by Benton Kerr. Finds me again. As that is going to be a foul, is it, for Milan? It is indeed a foul. It does mean we have a free kick, which... You know what? Let us see if we can make something of this. I'm going to try and go low and just hit it with pace and see if that works towards the goalkeeper. Outside the left boot. It has gone goalwards. And Maximiano had to make the save. I actually don't know how close that was to going in. But it does. Oh, I was trying to skip the replay. And I've accidentally pressed A to pass the ball into the box. Well done, me. Benacer. Now Ruben Diaz into Benton Kerr. Into Liao. Liao as he'll play Hernandez. Quick one, two. Gives him it back. It's Liao and Hernandez combining on the left-hand side. It's brilliant by Teo Hernandez. He finds me in the middle. It's 2-0 Milan. Goal scoring boots are on and with seven to go until half time in the way of minutes, Milan have taken control of this one. So well worked down the left hand side by Teo Hernandez as he skipped around the challenge. And then when the ball comes to me in the box here, I said earlier on in the game when I did a similar type of pass, we had to finish. We didn't on that occasion. I have done here that first touch into the right foot. Same actual position in the goal that we scored in the opener, but different foot this time. It's a corner to finish off this half here. Liao over to take it. As soon as this gets delivered in and cleared away, that will be the end of the first half. It forced me here on the edge of the penalty area. I didn't catch the volley anywhere near as good as I should have done. It was a weak effort in the end, but at half time, Milan can be happy as it is 2 0 at the break. Stealing it back there from Sal. Showed too much of it to me. And now Bernardo Silva. The second half is crucial for Lazio. They have to start it well. If they don't, Milan, the confidence they're showing at the moment will just add to the scoreline. That's a lovely ball through towards David. Pulls it back to Liao. He goes one more to Benesser. Picks out the top corner. Milan are in cruise control. But the question remains, where was this in the previous two games against Sassuolo and Dynamo Zagreb? Because this is the Milan side that we've got used to seeing since we joined them. It's liquid football. It's delightful football. And it's chance for us to find even more. Here is Barr. Looks over the top to find me. He will as well as we take it in our stride. Inside for David. David to Liao. Rafa Liao now then bearing down on the Lazio goal for number four. And he's not going to miss from there. And as I say, Lazio have been underwhelming. It will take something monumental from this moment now for them to get anything from this game. But it's really good to see Milan back in goal-scoring form and defending quite well as well. Clean sheet on the cards for Milan and Mainyan at the moment. Let's keep it that way. Final minute of this game as that will be the end of it. It's not just a win for Milan. It's a statement win because Lazio were in the top four and we had to get the results. And we did it emphatically. Unfortunately for us, Juventus slip up. They've drawn, so they remain unbeaten. But we now sit a point behind them. And Inter, who we face at the start of the next episode, head into that game off the back of a brilliant win against Napoli. They've just beaten Napoli 3-1. Having said that, Napoli struggling at the moment, down in mid-table. So we'll see what happens in that Milan derby. In terms of goal difference, look at us. We're scoring goals for fun. We just need to make sure we keep the pressure on Juventus. Who next face? Who are they playing? Uh, they're playing Bologna the day before us. So actually, you know what? Let's skip the days ahead and see if... Oh my goodness. Juventus beaten by Bologna. If we beat into next episode, my friends, we go top of Serie A. And as I mentioned earlier, with the Europa League group, because of our defeat to Zagreb, it's meant that Feyenoord, Dynamo Zagreb and us all sit on six points after the first three games. So halfway through the group and, well, it's anybody's to play for. For now, though, my friends, I want to say a huge thank you for all of your support. If you did enjoy today's episode, please leave a like as it does help in pushing out the videos to new viewers. I apologise as well for my voice not being as good as normal. That Liao equaliser, um, it was incredible and my country doesn't really do it justice, but hopefully you still enjoyed it anyway. 
I am on placement, as I have been saying in the previous video, so I apologize. Videos will be affected. They will not be as frequent as I would hope. But I have around six weeks left of my placement now. So once that is done, I'll be back and hopefully more frequent uploads for all of you lovely people. Until next time, stay safe, have a great day, have a great evening, look after each other, and I shall see you all back here for another episode very, very soon. Until then, adios.